All right, yesterday we're gonna begin, actually today we're gonna begin, sorry, it's a bad joke. Um, we're gonna start with this version of an F chord. Here's the full version. Uh, here is also a full version, it has all the notes on the chord. It's just not as, as big. So we're gonna begin like this, and then I have the pinky on the third fret, first string. So you begin, then you take off that pinky, and then you'll hit the second, third, and then second string. All right, and the rhythms are gonna go one and two and three and four and one. So again. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna catch this A 10th fret on the second string. And we're just gonna go up the scale. So we're gonna go, and then seventh fret, first string, and I take my first finger here, second finger, pinky, pinky goes up to the 13th, and then back down to the 12th. So with the bass, it goes like this, one, two, and three, and four, and, and now we're here with the open four, and then 10th fret on the first string, like that. So the rhythm of measure three is gonna go one, two, and three. And then the fourth beat is the bass note, eighth fret C. And I do let go of the melodic note to get to that C. So the first three measures go like this. And then we're gonna to go to the sixth fret and then to the 10th fret on the first string. And I do let go of that bass note to go there. So you've got this, and then a bar at eight. And you're gonna hit the outer string, so the sixth string and the first string. And then pinky goes 11th fret, second string. There it is. And then third finger, 10th fret. And then you take off that third finger, and it's the bar is covering that note. So. Um, the latter half of that measure goes. So the full measure is going to go one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, measure five. We were here, beginning here at measure four. And so I just keep the bar and I put my pinky down on the 11th fret, second string. Like that. So you have this. Third finger becomes a guide finger to the eighth fret, and then my first finger will be at the seventh fret. Like that. So we have here, guide finger, and now we're gonna go here. So it's open fourth, uh, middle finger is on the sixth fret, second string, first finger, full bar, outer two strings, sixth string and first string, second string. So that's gonna go. Then I do a, a B flat. Then I do a B flat chord. B flat major to be specific. And I hit the sixth string, the fourth, third, and second string. And then I go to this F chord. And I'll hit the thumb on the fifth string. These three are on the first, second, and third strings. And you hit that again without the bass. So you have this. So beginning of that line, measure five, we have this. So then if you look at measure eight, it's the same as measure one. Now measure nine, it's the same basic thing as what we had in the second measure, except the melody, um, the, that ascending scale is gonna be harmonized using sixths. So you've got this, I've got, I lay my bar down. You don't have to, you can certainly just go one and two like that. But I lay the bar down um, because eventually you will need a bar when you get up to here. And so it's just easier for me to keep the bar down. So, but I have the two and the bar covering the third and second strings. Three and four, and then the bar at the eighth fret, and by eighth I mean ninth, and you hit the open fifth string. Three and two, 
three and two go up to the 12th fret, pinky goes to the 13th. So slowly it's gonna go here, here, this with the bass note, here, here, there. And then measure 10 is gonna be the same thing as measure three. In fact, the next five measures are gonna be a repeat of what we've already done. So we have this. So that is all a repeat of what we did before. So now if you take a look at measure 15, we're gonna to go to a new section. So I got my first finger on the fifth fret, first string plus the open six. I do that a little softer. Open second, open third, open second. Half bar at five with the middle finger on that sixth fret, third string. And you're gonna go, I use my ring finger here plus open five, middle finger, index, middle. So that's gonna go. So that measure slowly goes. Now the pinky is gonna go to the 10th fret plus the open four. And then the pinky is a guide finger to the 12th fret plus that. So that can be kind of a tough stretch. So I do drop my left shoulder to help get that. And then the pinky goes up to the 13th fret and my middle finger also goes to the 13th fret on that fifth string. So you've got this. Pinky goes to the 12th plus open five. So that measure slowly goes. Measure 17. Play that 12th fret first string plus the open third string. Middle finger goes to the 10th fret. And then a bar at eight. I hit the outer just two strings. Third finger goes up to the 10th fret. So that slowly is gonna go. The rhythm there with the dotted notes, you're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and. One more time. One, two, and three, and four, and F chord. So you're gonna arpeggiate this F chord. And what I do there is I just, I assign a right hand finger to a string. So my ring finger takes care of the first string, my middle finger takes care of the second, index finger takes care of the third, and the thumb will take care of the other note. So slowly it goes like this. So notice my thumb hits the fourth string and then the fifth string. So slowly it goes. All right, and then we're gonna repeat. So uh, the next couple measures are gonna be the same as measures 15 and 16. So it goes. Then we have this. Now measure 21 is very similar to measure 17 with a slight change. So you have this, then we have the bar, and then now the pinky will go to the 12th, like that. So you have this. Counting the rhythm, it sounds like this. One, two, and three, four. Pinky goes up to the 13th fret, middle finger also to the 13th fret on that sixth string, like that. So that measure, 21 plus the first beat of 22, so go like this. One, two, and three, four, one. Pinky goes down to the eighth. Middle finger, first finger. So it's. And then we have a repeat of the very beginning. Until this point. Um, so here we have that same scale that goes up. The difference is, is that it's now an octave lower. So you're gonna go, instead of playing the A up here, we're gonna go A here. So you op open six, second finger gets at A, open second string, second finger goes to the second fret on the second string, third finger, open first, first finger. So again, Then 
if you take a look at measure 25, I hit the open fourth string, plus I have this little so it's a hammer on, pull off, kind of quickly done. So with the bass, it's going to go, and then pinky, hit that twice on that third fret, second string. So you have this, third finger bass, first finger bass, first fret, fifth string. So that measure is going to go one, two, and three, four, and then one. Try and hold that down, pinky will go to that 3rd fret 2nd string. Two C's. So I think of this as like a C chord without the middle, without the middle finger. So you have this, pinky hits the B flat 3rd fret 2nd string, 3rd fret 3rd string, middle finger gets the 2nd fret, open 3rd. So you have this. First fingers on the first fret, sixth string, third fingers on the third fret, third string. Goes to the middle finger, and then open. So it's open six, open four. So that line beginning at measure 25 is gonna go. the rest of the piece is just a repeat of what we've done so far. So we have this. This is a repeat. All right, then beginning measure 30. Again, this is all just a repeat. And so on. So it repeats all the way until you get to measures 45 and 46. So measure 44, we have this. And then we have measure 45, we have an F chord. I hit the inner string, so the fifth, fourth, third, and second. Followed by the first string. Bar at three. Second string. So it's this. Then we have this B flat thing again. F. And then and I'll just strum that last one, like that. So with all of the repeats, one thing I would do is play it a little differently each time. So every time that main melody comes back, you know, you could play it Ponticello. Uh, you could play it more dulce. It's just the idea is you want to add some variety to it. So I mean, imagine a speaker, if you said the same thing over and over and over again, with no change in inflection, you're gonna lose your audience. And so it's the same thing with music, adding ponticello or dynamic changes, or even just the feel of the way you play it will help out a lot, so enjoy.